I remember when the women's soccer team in 99 won the World Cup and that celebration, I mean, that was, that was a pivotal moment for women's sports. I think this, you know, is the, was the next great moment for, for women's sports and the fact that it was volleyball, and again, I keep coming back to this, it's Lincoln, Nebraska. <laughs> You know, we always talk about we're the epicenter, and, and, and again, we say we have the greatest fans. We do, and, and volleyball is a state treasure here, and the fact that we were able to pull this off, it just proves all that. The impossible is possible. There's no place like Nebraska. We can, we can do some amazing things together, and, and our team did that. And I'll tell you this, we've got as talented people in the athletic department at the University of Nebraska across the board as anybody in the country. Nobody does what we do. When Wisconsin broke our attendance record, we said, hey, we got to get it back. Record crowd of almost 16,000 got to watch Nebraska and Creighton play in a five-set thriller. On Friday, UW can top Nebraska again. The Huskers just set the regular season record for largest crowd nine days ago. So Trev and I met and we looked at PBA. There was no way we could get enough people in PBA to break the record. So my next question was, well, what do we have to do? We got to play at CHI, do we have to play at Pinnacle? And they said, no, unfortunately, we don't have a venue that's large enough to be able to break the record, so they're going to hold it. And I said, well, actually, we do have a venue. Trevor goes, let's go do a stadium match. I'm like, yeah, right. And I walked out <laughs> thinking, yeah, right. That was kind of a, you know, a flippant uh, comment, uh, a bit of a joke, never really. And then, you know, the more I thought about it, the more I thought, well, what, what if we did try to do that? Between Trev and John in the room together, the idea came from that room. I think just John knowing that the record was out there and Trev behind it all the way is what maybe gave the final push to get us to where we were actually wheels turning and we're going to make this event happen. Breaking news in the volleyball world. Nebraska Volleyball's match in Memorial Stadium. Volleyball day in Nebraska. How awesome is that? And next thing you know, we're, we're rolling on it and they've got a plan how to do it. I think for all of us in the department, I was like, okay, this is real. And now we got to get to business, um, making sure that the presentation is at an elite level. I really started believing like we might be able to do this. But to be honest with you, when the tickets went on sale and you, you know, I heard the system crashed and they're saying like, oh wow, we might get to 60 to 80. And I was just thinking, oh, this is like fake Twitter news, you know? <laughs> like, you know, the, they do those fake things on Twitter. I'm thinking, okay, this is like, somebody's messing around here. That's what my, really was my first thought. Like, there's no way. And then here we go. The reality is, is I thought if we had 30,000 people, that'd be pretty cool. I mean, when was the last time 30,000 people watched a volleyball game? To hear that we're going to be playing in the football field and we could potentially sell it out, I was like, this is insane. I think probably initially when it was first announced, a lot of people were like, yeah, let's see. I don't think there's any way we sell at the stadium. It's on a Wednesday night. People from western Nebraska can't come in the middle of the week. So I thought they're kind of hurting their chances, but they'll still sell, you know, 30 or 40,000 tickets maybe was my Yes. Gotta set the alarm, make sure we get the tickets so I can be, you know, get Best Mom Award. And then the day the tickets went on sale and they sold out in like an hour and a half, I think, of the first bunch. And so it was just really exciting to see the support that came forward. The Oscars website shows no more seats are open on its interactive map. This came less than 24 hours after they became available yesterday morning. I think if anybody knows Nebraska, they know that you guys do sellouts. And because of that, we knew that not only was it going to be a sellout, but they actually, the stands would be full. Like not just the tickets bought and whatever, like bodies were going to be in seats and that meant a completely different story. In case anybody needed a reminder who has the best fans in all of college sports, Volleyball Day in Nebraska is officially sold out. When the sellout was announced, I think that caught more people's attention. I really think that people just thought, well, 
even if I don't watch volleyball on the regular, you know, this is going to be special and I want to be there for it. The record for a volleyball game belongs in the state of Nebraska. The day before the event, uh, Kennedy wrote a card to everybody on the team and with a rose. So that night I read it when I got home and got really emotional reading it. And then we had the pep rally and I was going to read the whole card to the whole pep rally in the Coliseum, but I, I, I couldn't do it. Oh my goodness, he was an emotional wreck. He was in full grandpa mode. There's multiple sides to everyone, but coach has two very significant ones. He's either coach or grandpa. And that day, as much as he wanted to be coach, like we need to focus on UNO. Okay, we got to clean up passing, we got to clean up serving, we need to thump it. I don't care about the win, I don't care about this. When he saw what was going on and how much this program means to us and the fan base, like he was taking it all in just as much as we were. being on that stage and how they handled it, how they handled the pep rally, interacting with those kids, I and mean, that was a long day for us. They sensed the moment being a role model and how many young girls they were gonna impact. The one that looked just like me, her name was Nevea, so they brought her out, and she immediately, I could notice like she had some emotions, and she was obviously wearing my jersey, so I was like, oh, this is so cool. She gets on the mic and just starts breaking down, and then I heard my name, she's like, I need Becca Alec. And so without hesitation, I ran over. Hey, big girl. I just knew that I needed to be there for her and having someone break down over me, it made me realize that like what I do and what I stand for and how I play, it's a lot more than what I think it is. It's not just me showing up for practice and it's not just me playing hard. Like, I'm representing somebody. I constantly told myself, I'm like, okay, if I don't see anybody that looks like me in my position, I'm gonna be the first. And so, when I saw her dressed like me, looked like me, I'm like, oh my goodness. One thing going into this game we talked to John Cook about was he was really happy to see high school students and middle school students, club athletes, be able to go to a game because a lot of times at Devaney they, they can't get in or can't get tickets because it's the hottest ticket in Lincoln. There's no distance too far for Husker fans when it comes to witnessing history. Teams across the metro have canceled practice and loaded up buses to head down to Lincoln. They know these players. They've played with them. Um, they've watched them. They've been mentored by them. Um, and to get to see them on this big stage, it only gives them confidence to be able to do the exact same thing. We had so many subs that day because teachers were leaving <laughs> to go and enjoy the game. And in history class, we talked about the history of Nebraska volleyball. And it was just, it was really just a, you know, a citywide event. I 
wonder all the time, like, why us? Like, why, why do I, born at this time, you know, graduated this day, made all of these decisions that led me to this exact point where I am now walking out where a bunch of great football players have walked and I'm gonna run out to 92,000 people. I, I was just happy to be a part of it and uh, getting to lead our team out there on the tunnel walk. I think the national anthem and the flyover really got a lot of people. Greetings, Nebraska, and welcome inside a football stadium. Third goal moves the crowd to Nebraska. Great attack. Andy Jackson to boom. 21 10 bigger. The two balls out there is tonight. That's a good old jump for the line. Come to Nebraska. Anything over 91,648 eclipses the highest attendance ever for a women's sporting event. 91,648 is the magic number. We'll find out momentarily. Nebraska is now a world record holder. because we're going to get our answer on what the attendance is. World record achieved. 92,000. Three people going through the turnstiles, having a ticket scan here tonight. This was sold out in 48 hours, this event. We thought there was a pretty good chance. Now we know it. What a moment. Women's sports, this sport, and for this state in this program in Nebraska. We guys. Thank you. As we say, we have the best fans in the country. You guys proved it. Once the game ended and, and I took my IFB out and you know ripped my headset off, I remember hugging Connor and just saying, we're a part of history. This is the coolest thing that I probably will ever cover. It's a record center in Nebraska. It's a record center for women's sports. I haven't seen something like that. Uh, in a long time. Talk about <laughs> big red indeed. It was in just a sea of red. Indeed. And a big record for women's mm. sports attendance. It's not a Taylor Swift concert. <laughs> Beyonce, that was the girls' volleyball team. History in the heartland. Something very, very special happened at the University of Nebraska last night. In a sea of red, they cheered by the tens of thousands. The largest attendance for a women's sports event in, in history just took place in Lincoln, Nebraska. 92,003, that is the record-breaking number of 92,003 people there to see it at Memorial Stadium, to see Volleyball Day, one of the best programs in the world. More than 92,000 people filled Memorial Stadium. It's not every day that a college volleyball game needs to upgrade its venue to a football stadium. And I just, you gotta give credit where credit is due. I remember the games in the Coliseum and to think that they, you know, sold out at the at Memorial Stadium.
absolutely amazing. You look at women's volleyball, 92,000 people showed up at a women's volleyball game. That's crazy. Yeah. And um, what did it feel like to play in front of more than 90,000 people? I think the whole day was just, it was super emotional for all of us. Nothing's ever gonna live up to this event because of how big it was and how big of a celebration of our, our sport that it was. You can do it again, but it's never gonna replicate the same feel that we had on August 30th. Just a lot of gratitude. Like I, I've said this before, like I wonder all the time, like why us? And so when I'm walking out there, my biggest thing was taking it in. I just, I feel like this event really showed people there really is no place like Nebraska. People say it all the time, and I'm lucky enough to have had experiences playing in a lot of other places, and I 100% believe there is no place like Nebraska, and putting on an event like this and having the fan support like this, I feel like really confirms that and just, it shows the world there really is no place like Nebraska. So it's something I'm, I'll always be proud to have been a part of. The alumni was so incredibly gracious to have the opportunity to be back for it, but also to reminisce about the, you know, where the program had come from. We were able to hear from people from different decades who just had completely different experiences as to what volleyball was when they were playing here. They were the foundation to help get that team out on a court in Memorial Stadium and with 92,000 fans. And I really hope they walked away feeling um, a part of that and and really feeling that this is a family and um, we wouldn't be where we were today and this event wouldn't happen without the alumni. When you look at the um, records that we surpassed, the, when you think of World Cup soccer and you think of the world stage and soccer, the impact it has across the world, and then you put a collegiate volleyball match up against that and we're able to beat that record, um, I think that's one reason it grabs so much attention across the world. When I played, we were in the Coliseum, um, but we were selling out most matches. We started the sellout streak my last year. Um, but we heard from people who played 20 years before me who they would try to get football fans to come in after a football game. And they'd be like, show your ticket stub. And I think, I don't know, you got popcorn and something for a dollar if you come support the volleyball team. And they would set up the chairs before the match themselves. And I mean, it's just, it's been a very long journey, I think, of women dedicating themselves and being willing to sacrifice to play a sport that we all loved, um, to get to the point where our team can go down there and they can play in front of 92,000 fans. Like, that's insane. Yeah, I would definitely say after feeling that or seeing that atmosphere, the sky's the limit. You know, as a girl, you know, growing up and, and seeing that and you're like, wow, I'm in Lincoln, Nebraska and this is what's happening here. We're setting world records and this stadium is full of people for women playing volleyball. So I would definitely say the sky's the limit and yeah, dream big, go for it. <laughs> Was there a risk? Sure. Um, and we would have had, I'd have had to stand up and say, I'm sorry, we tried, but look at the reward. Just go make it happen. We were dreaming big to put this on, but we also, um, there was maybe a little fear behind it, but we had to be fearless and um, go ahead and go for it. You have to be willing to take a risk on a big stage. And that's exactly what our program did on Wednesday night. And I think, our team walked away with the confidence now to go into the season and, and be more willing to, to put that on the court. I think her comments will forever resonate with me. She's one of my number one hype men, my twin sister Hannah, and how you wanted, you know, you wanted a name for yourself and you wanted to be a part of something big like you're doing it. And she, she posted, she's like, you're living out the dream. Tonight, the impossible will become possible. And, and I, when I still say that, I, I feel this emotion. We did the impossible. Soaking it all in, Coach? Huh? Are you soaking it all in? Yeah, we've, we've, done, we've dreamed big here tonight. We really dreamed big. And, and uh, again, I think Kennedy Ward wrote me a note today and said, Coach, tonight we'll do the impossible will be possible. We did it.